genre bending. This is a very genre bending book. It's gothic, right? What's it, what, anyone know what a gothic conceit is? What's in a gothic novel? Castles, secrets, darkness, transgressions, haunted houses, ghosts. It's also a romance, and it's also the coming of age story, which is really the story of childhood to adulthood and somebody making some changes in there. She found beauty all around her. She described the trees and the birds and uh, the dew, and when the moon comes up. Uh, in other words, the best things in life were free for her. She's such a survivor, and she's totally desperate, but she doesn't give up. She goes to the cottage and she's knocking, can I find work? I think that's a lesson for so many of us, especially in these economic times where people's fortunes have shifted and they find themselves in situations they hadn't imagined to say, okay, I'm gonna pick myself up and I'm just gonna keep on going. Absolutely, and that's something we see from her early on, how what happens to her in her childhood is almost code for what happens to her later. We see that kind of quality early on, right? And I think that does contribute to empathy, that she's an orphan and that she's sort of had ill will toward her and she's made it through, and that gives us empathy toward her too. One of my most cherished moments in the novel is when she goes back to Thornfield and sees um, Rochester standing at the door, you know, when everything's being destroyed, and so it's the first time she's seen him, and he's all scarred, and she says to us, dear reader, if you think I'm afraid, you don't know me at all. And I'm always like, of course you're not afraid, because we know you, because you've been so vulnerable and real with us. And that's the thing that I love about her. At the bottom of it all, Jane Eyre asks this question, do we follow our hearts or do we follow our heads? How do we recognize the difference? And, and this is also why I particularly like her. She's a character at war with herself. And we see that on the page. We see Jane grapple with ethics, morality, emotion in almost every sentence. And I think that's what makes her such a lasting heroine. I want to thank you very much for coming today. Thanks for having me. Thanks for reading Jane.